Hello, everybody. Uh, hi, Renee. Hi, Noril. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thanks. Are you are you are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> I got up real early. Can you kind of tell? <laughs> uh. I used to stay up real late, um, but I've been trying to go to bed early and get up early, so I'm in the midst of <laughs> trying to change my schedule. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what's been up with you? Uh, any any news? Any news? Um, no, I'm just uh, arriving to my home. I I took some flamenco classes. I oh. dance flamenco. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Very sexy dancing. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Are you already experienced in salsa and tango? I, I know salsa. I am like inter intermediate intermediate. How do you say intermediate or intermediate? Yes, that's intermediate. Sort of yeah, not beginner, not advanced, but right. The intermediate yeah. in salsa in flamenco. I also in intermediate, but it's, I think it's more difficult flamenco than salsa. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It helps to have a really strong lead, so they. Yeah, no. You work, yeah, you work with all your body. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have regular dance partners, or do you go and dance with everybody? No, I have a group with some another girls. Mm, We're it. in a group. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I remember uh, a former partner and I went to salsa boot camp a very long time ago. Um, yeah, salsa boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was overwhelming. I felt like uh, I couldn't really relax. I was like really in my head, I think. <laughs> it, it really, uh, being able to connect like body to body, definitely. Uh, Oh yeah, no, it's flamenco. It's a little kind of different. Oh, <laughs> you can oh, dance by uh, alone. Flamenco is not partner dancing. I forgot. Right, flamenco. No, you you can dance with a partner, but a lot of the um, dance is by yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of like with the little like. <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you for updating me on what's been new. Um, hi, Italo. Italo. Good night. Hi, Norel. How are you? Good. Good evening. I uh, see you have a new picture, right? Yes, yeah, I have a new picture. Tell me about this picture. What does this mean? And there are four... four uh, 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 meant? Yes, yes, four people. Uh, uh, each one uh, go to the to the accident. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. is it a famous Maybe. cartoon, or they all seem to be going in four directions? No, this is uh, a new a new picture. Uh, uh, that I have, I, that I, um, I get the, the, the Sunday, uh, oh. yesterday. Cool, cool. Well, thank you, thank you. Pictures are very important. I recognize people by their pictures, and I get totally thrown off when people change them. But it's always <laughs> nice when people change them, too. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. So, everybody, hello. I'm Narelle. I am from New York in the United States. I'm available for private one-on-one -on -one tutoring. You can follow me on Verbling to get updates on my classes. And today we will be going over some dialogue and some vocabulary for when we go to the airport and we check in. So has anybody here ever checked in at the airport in English? Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You too, uh, Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and 
Um, Rene, where were you going, or what country were you in? Mm, in the United States, in oh. Canada, oh. in Europe, Belgium, oh, all over. Ah, I see. I see. Germany, and okay. some places over there. Very cool, very cool. Good, then you probably know everything we're about to talk about. <laughs> no, no, it's, no it's, just be it's great because I want to practice my English. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be, it will, it'll be easier then if um, it had been all new. So, um, okay, Italo, what about you? Where were you when you checked in at the airport in English? Uh, in English, no, but in my trip, uh, there are uh, in the South America, uh -huh. uh, Peru, uh, Venezuela, Panama, and Chile. Oh, cool! But uh, I, 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 uh, I am, I, I, I. I don't be in Europe or North America. Oh, so oh, so you can say I have not been to Europe. I, I have not been North America. Okay, great. America, Europe or Asia. I I I like to go to the Africa to the South Africa. Ah, okay. But you can say I would like to go to. South Africa. Yes. Uh, I hope. I hope. Yes, yes. I would like to go to the Johannesburg. A Johannesburg, <laughs> South Africa. Uh, yes, yes. You know, I think my uncle is from Johannesburg, South Africa. Cool. Okay, everybody, and everyone can see the chat box, right? The chat box. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good, because uh, it, it'll help to look at it. I try to use that as the whiteboard for the lesson. Great, Italo typed OK in it. All right, everybody, so let's begin. Um, all right, so let's start with the dialogue. The dialogue. Uh. Okay, so it looks like this takes place at the check-in desk. Uh, Italo, why don't you be agent, and Renee will be Dan. Okay. Agent starts up here. Sorry, that that says agent up there. I am agent. Yes, Dan. Uh, yes, you are agent, Italo. Uh, good afternoon. Where are you flying to today? Los Angeles. May I have your passport, please? Here you go. Are you checking any bags? Just this one. Okay. Please place your bag on the scale. I have a stop over in Chicago. Do I need to pick up my luggage there? No. It all goes straight through Los Angeles. Here are your boarding passes. Your flight leaves from gate 50, 15A and it will begin boarding at 3 uh, 20, 20. Your seat number is 26E. Thanks. Okay, wonderful, both of you. Okay, so let's uh, please repeat after me. Let's go over some pronunciation. Passport. 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 Checking any bags. Checking any bags. Any bags. Mm -hmm. Scale. Scale. Stopover. 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 Good. Luggage. Luggage. Good. Um, let's see. All right, and that's it. Okay, so let's start with some of this vocabulary here. Um, Renee, what does it mean to check bags at the airport? If you don't want to carry 
uh, your bags or your luggage, you have to check check in. So they go in the lower part of the airplane. Yes, yes. Putting uh, or having staff put your bags in the lower part of the airplane. So, Renee, when you fly, do you tend to check your bags or do you carry on? Some It depends yeah. the, where I am going to, but uh, some of, uh, of the times I, I make a check-in. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Okay. And Italo, when you fly, do you uh, do you try to carry on only or do you check your bags too? Excuse me, Norel. I hear I, I can't hear you. Do you check your bags when you fly? Do you check your bags when you fly, Itello? Oh, uh, when I uh, when we came to the airport mm -hmm. and the uh, and the uh, uh, check-in area, mm -hmm. uh, before to go to the Uh, I I can say um, uh, no. <laughs> the gate. I can say the 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 second uh, word. Um, security is the other place. Yes, gate uh, security gate. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Great, great. All right. Uh, Juan Carlos, hi. Juan Carlos? I like Juan Carlos's picture, too. It has cows in it, I think. <laughs> Very cool. I think that's a new one for Juan, too. All right, Juan, uh, give a shout when you get your microphone hooked up. Okay, so, Italo... What kind yes. of uh, what kind of information does your passport have in it? What does your passport contain? The passport contain the the name, the the country origin, uh -huh. and the date of uh, of um, of. Um, of issue and date of the uh, of the end. Yes. Um, and the ID number. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. And the photography. Yes. And the visa in the last uh, page. Yes. The visas. Uh, the for uh, the. Uh, for the Euro visa, uh, I don't remember. Yes, a visa for when you travel to other countries. Yeah. Yes. Good, good, good. So, Juan, um, when does your passport expire? Uh oh. All right, I'm going to mute over there. Okay. So, Itello, when does your passport expire? Mute? Uh, uh, and me? Yes. For me? You. Uh, expire means to become out of date. So, when your passport expires, you have to renew it. Oh, 10 years. 10, ten years, years. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Awesome. I just got my passport renewed last year, too. Okay, Renee. Um, so, Renee, what is a stopover? A stopover. Stop. Permit? What is a stopover? 
Dan has a stopover in Chicago. Ah, what is a stopover? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a scale when you have to... Well, here, let me use stopover in a sentence. Uh, yeah. I have a stopover in Chicago, so I think that I'll get out and stretch my legs and walk around. The stopover is going to be about two hours. It'll yeah. be about two hours uh, in Chicago, and then I'll be on my way. I'll be. It's it's la it's it's a connect flight. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good. Stop. Sorry, it's because in Spanish we say you make a scala, so that's why <laughs> I try to say it's scale in English. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Yeah. It's funny how oh, sometimes uh, yeah. the word sounds like something, but it's not it. I forget what this. Yeah. Word. Yes, uh, stopover is a connecting flight. Uh, there is one other synonym for that word. Do you know the synonym? It begins with an L. L. Well, mm, right now I don't remember. No worries. So a layover. So stop. Layover. Layover. Connecting flight. All same thing. Okay. So, uh, Renee, tell me about a time where you were flying and you had some stopovers. Where, where were they? What did you do on them? Mm, for example, when I fly to mm, um, to Toronto, mm -hmm. to Canada, some one time I make a connect fly. Uh, first, I have to go to Houston, mm -hmm. and then I have to wait over there like two hours, and then I have to we fly to Toronto. Oh, great! Okay, so so Houston, yeah, Houston is a big. Uh, sometimes I think I've flown in like the opposite direction, kind of to get to the second. Yeah. <laughs> of my flight. Yes. Yes. All right. Great. Thank you, Renee. Um, Juan, are you there? Juan? Juan? Uh, there's a lot, a lot of background noise, Juan. Uh, can you restart your microphone? Awesome. We'll let uh, Juan uh, restart his microphone. Italo, um, when you last had a stopover, where was it? Excuse me, Norel. When Please you repeat. last when you last had a stopover, where was your stopover? Oh, my last stopover, where when uh, when I go to the near city of my of Bogota, the bad um, the bad uh, weather. Uh -huh. um, and uh, the, the fly uh, have to go to uh, the other city. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The power. Yes. But the, uh, in, in my, you know, one voyage to the, to the Chile, the, uh, the, uh, the plane, the, the yeah. flight, I have uh, one stopover in, in, in Lima, Peru. Lima, Peru. Cool. And when you were at the Lima airport, uh, did you do anything? What did you do? What did you do? Um, I I was for for six hours in did this you, airport. Did you drink? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <no> so. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. VIP, the VIP uh, uh, place. Oh yes, the v we call it the VIP lounge. Um, I, yes. Oh, good, good. They uh, probably had snacks and television. All <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, good, good. Okay, so um, let's see. Juan again. Juan, are you there? Uh, 
Uh, uh, still a lot of background noise. I don't know. If, I don't think I'll be able to hear you, unfortunately. Try try leaving uh, and restarting your browser. That helps a lot. Okay, so Italo, the next word, Italo. Yes. What is the scale? Please place your bag on the scale. What is that? Is the is the sit sight? No, is the is the band mm. and the transport the the logos for the for the area uh, for the for the train for well, the trains. It's kind of close, but the scale. Uh, did you already say that uh, it tells the weight of your luggage? The weight of your yes. luggage. So, uh, yes. So, uh, put, putting your bag on the scale tells the weight. Yes. Um, so, thank you, Italo. Renee, what, um, why do they need to put your luggage on the scale? Why? Why do they weigh the luggage? Because... It depends the airline you have to your bags have to have uh, for example 21 I don't know in pounds but in oh no worries just tell us and kill uh, you have to have uh, uh, for example uh, 23 kilo kilos of weight yeah. so they have to review that you are in the correct weight. Yes, yes. And size of your bag. Ba. Good, good, good. So um, it's so they can tell whether to charge you, uh, what is it called, um, an excess weight fee. Uh, oh, um, over the weight fee. God, what is that called? It's... Yes, you're you're right. So they can tell what over okay. overweight <laughs> fee for bags. Yes, Renee, have you ever had to pay an overweight bag fee? Yeah. <laughs> ah, what were you carrying? Gold, rocks? No, just a lot of shopping. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. And Italo, have you ever had to pay an overweight fee? Uh, no. Ah. I, I like to, to pay for extra lunch, extra weight. Ah, uh, so not so much shopping. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, so let me give Juan a try again. Juan, please uh, unmute so we can see if we can hear you. Juan, say hello. Oh, my God, I still can't hear you at all. Um, try again, Juan. Yeah, that stinks when this all happens. All right, so let's see. Renee, what are boarding passes? Boarding passes. Uh, it's, yeah, it's the uh, where it's that paper or that QR or the cell phone that you the the personnel of the airplane can recognize that you have a ticket and you can board the airplane and you they know your seat. Mm -hmm. And your name, and you can uh, know in which gate do you, you have to stay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It has your name, your seat number, your gate, where you're going, flight number. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Italo, where can somebody get a boarding pass? How do you get a boarding pass? And the board pass uh, is there. The yeah, one person in the um, check-in area. 
Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, internet previews yeah. apply. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one can, one can, one can make a uh, check-in online. Yes. And print the, the boarding pass previous, previously. Yes, good, good. So when you print your boarding passes, where do you prefer? At home or at the airport? Uh, on the airport. Ah, oh, you go to the airport. Okay, okay. Um, at the airport, but but the but the cho chose the 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 seat. Yes. I prefer in, in the in my apartment. Ah, so you. At the, at the, for, for the print in the airport. Ah, okay. Ah, so okay. So you choose the seat at home and then you print it at the airport. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, and Renee, what about you? What do you prefer? Uh, the same that the same that Italo. I prefer to make the shaking in my home. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it depends. If 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 it's uh, if it's a national flight, I can keep on my cell phone. Oh. But if it's an international flight, I prefer to print That's at awesome. the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that cool that we can just show them our cell phones now? Yeah. <laughs> Genius. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. There are a couple of, let's see, let's go over some of this vocabulary here. Um, I'm going to try Juan again. Juan, uh, try it. Let's try again. Or Juan, just let me know if you prefer just to listen. I can have that too. Juan? Okay, Juan is just going to listen today. Um, no worries, Juan. Okay, so um, Italo, when I say, what's your final destination? What do I mean? What's your final destination? Is the place where we um, we want to to stay? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, where are you flying today is another way to say that. Good. Your final destination is where you're going. Exactly. Okay. And, Renee, please read this one. Okay. If the agent says that your luggage will go straight through, it means it will go directly to the final destination. And you don't need to pick up it no, sorry. And you don't need to pick it up during your stopover. Great, great. Thank you. So, Renee, please use go straight through in a sentence for us. Um, you have to walk straight through that, this avenue. Uh -huh. And... Yeah, you can find the market store. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay. Yeah, oh yes, that's good. That's kind of the other definition of going straight through. That's just walking straight. I think it's, um, what about a sentence for luggage? Luggage that will go straight through. Okay. Um, you you are going to have a connect flight, uh -huh. but don't worry because your luggage will go straight to Paris. Excellent, excellent, exactly. Thank you. Okay, so now Italo. Um, so please read, please read the highlighted words here. The small bag you take with you on the airplane is called a carry-on. You need to put your carry-on bags to the x-ray machine at security. Good. Okay, so Italo, what are the requirements for carry-on baggage? Uh, you don't have, you haven't 
to 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 go with uh, um, uh, perfumes or bottles. You know, bottles, no liquids. Glass, the glasses bottles, mm -hmm. and the chemicals and the uh, uh, dangerous um, elements. Yeah, things. yeah, good. No weapons. No no weapons. <laughs> weapons. Yeah, good. Okay, and so Renee, tell us what the F machine what is x-ray machine yes okay it's a machine that examinates the all the inside of the box mm -hmm. it examines the inside of the bags good good all right great so let's move on to um, Okay, so a couple of words here. Um, Italo, please read that highlighted sentence. Where is terminal for? Good. Okay, so what is a terminal? What is the terminal or a terminal at the airport? Terminal is a, a little area where uh, you can see uh, um, around of uh, uh, twenty or thirty airplanes. Ah yes, yes, yes. You can see the gates and the airplanes. Yes, yes. Good. Um, and Renee, why don't you add to that? What else? What is the terminal for? What do we do in the terminal? Um, a terminal in some cities. They have, for example, national terminal mm -hmm. and international terminal. Yes. It's the route that they give for the airplanes to yeah. leave the passengers. Mm -hmm. It's like an of logistic. Ah, uh, yes, yes. For the airport. Yeah, it's uh, we um, it's uh, part of the airport. Here, I'm gonna just uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh Airport terminal, I'll show you a picture. So the airport terminal is sort of the part of the airport that's not a gate. So it's like, uh, here I hope I can, okay. So I think this is a very small airport. Like the terminal is like the main area uh, over here. Like people get dropped off at the terminal. You do your check-in at the terminal and then the security is the area between the terminal and the gates. Yeah. So you need to go like through security to get from the terminal to the gates. Um, baggage claim is also at ter the terminal. So it's yeah the main area of the yeah baggage claim yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Good. Good. Oh, okay. And um, Italo, what does fragile mean? Or actually, Itala, why don't you read this highlighted definition here? Ah, Itala, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, please mark this back as fragile. Say this if you have fragile or sensitive items in your bag, then that uh, might break. Yes. Okay, so what is what does fragile mean? It is um, it's a thing like a, a glass. Oh yes, good, uh, good, good, like glass. Yeah, yeah. And um, Renee, what are some other items that are that should be marked as fragile? Um, for example, some art, kind of art. Yes, yes. Um, um, maybe a special food <laughs> that oh. someone is carrying on in the airplane. <laughs> yeah, like a cake or something. <laughs> uh, Good, great. Um, thank you. Okay, 
So, Renee, why don't you read this next one here? Sure. Is the flight on time? The agent will respond either yes, if the flight is on time, or there is a 20 minute delay. For example, if the flight will leave later than expected. All right, good. So that's pretty self explanatory, I think. Um, Renee, can you tell me about a time where your flight was delayed? Um, um, maybe in a national flight, I have to go to Cancun. Oh, okay. And we have to wait at the airport like two hours. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, and was there a reason that your flight was delayed? Like, was it weather or maybe Me it it was that time enough mechanical. A mechanical issue. Yes. They issue. Were yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's important. All right. And Italo, can you tell us about a time when your flight was delayed? Like, how long was it delayed? Uh, what the problem was? Unmute, Italo. Yes. When when the the weather the weather is bad. Weather. Or the weather. Uh -huh. um, when the the mach the the mechanic examination is uh, is no good. Yes. Uh, or for the um, I don't know. Yeah. Very very good. Very good. Great. I have. Has either have either of you ever been at the airport overnight due to weather delays? No, not me. Uh, okay. Unfortunately. Fortunately, yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. So let's keep going. Um, all right. So now we are going through. Airport security. Okay, so Itala, why don't you read that paragraph? There are two pieces of equipment in security. You put your bags through the X-ray machine, and you walk through the metal detector. The X-ray machine has a conveyor belt that moves your bags automatically through the machine. You can put small items like keys or money into plastic bins. Great, thank you. Okay, so Renee, tell us about the metal detector. What, uh, if you had a friend who had never flown before, what would you tell him or her about the metal detector? Okay, first that they don't, uh, it's better if they Use uh, clothes without metal. <laughs> First, and they have to take out the shoes mm -hmm. and all that stuff like the seat, like sealed. Yes, yes. Um, and they have to walk through that machine, mm -hmm. and if they don't have something. Yeah, with metal, it doesn't matter. But sometimes, if they have metal in their bodies, maybe in their bones or something like that, mm -hmm. maybe they have to stop and the security going to review them. Yeah, yeah. So when that happens, um, when security uh, stops you, it uh, me it. Uh, you need to have a body search. Like if you have like maybe a metal plate in your back or some kind of metal implant in your body. Um, yeah. That's off the metal detector. A body search is where they, uh, you know, pat you down. Pat you down. It's uh, Maybe it's called a pat down also. It's called a pat down also. Um, yeah. Okay. So, Italo. Um, Tell us about the conveyor belt. 
How does that work? Mm, the conveyor belt is a, a moving band uh -huh. uh, of rubber or metal. Rubber, yes, rubber or metal, yes. For moving the, the things through the x-ray. Yes, yes. Good. Good, yes. All right. Okay, so let's move on to the dialogue here. This time, Renee is going to be agent and Italo is going to be Dan. Okay. Starts. Agent starts. Please lay your bags flat on the cover. Coven door. How do you say that? Conveyor. Yeah. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Sorry, again. <laughs> Please lay your bags flat on the conveyor belt and use the bins for small objects. Do I need to make my laptop out of the bag? Yes, you do. Take off your hat and your shoes too. He walks through the metal detector. Beep, 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 beep. Please, step back. Do you have anything on your pockets? Keys, cell phone, loose change? I don't think so. Uh, let me try taking off my belt. Okay, come on through. He goes through the metal detector again. You are all set. Have a nice flight. Excellent. Ah, we all wish that. <laughs> yeah. Like this, right? <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's all go over pronunciation together first. Lay your bags flat. Lay your bags flat. Good. Conveyor belt. Conveyor, Conveyor belt. belt. Good. Bins. 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 Good, good. Great use of the short I, everyone. Um, good use of short I. It's uh, bins, not beans, right? Okay. Um, metal detector. Metal detector. Metal detector. Good. Loose change. Loose change. Loose change. Good. Okay. I think that's it for pronunciation. Um... Renee, what is loose change? Mm, um, soft, so, some coins? Yeah, coins. Good, good, yes, coins. Um, and, yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Okay, and Itella, what does it mean when the agent says, you're all set? No, I don't know, Norel. So uh, here, here's the definition right here. Please read. Please read. Uh, the frost. Like you're all set. It's common expression that means you're finished and everything is okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, times where you might say you're all set, like. Um, Maybe uh, you might say to your kids, like, okay, I'm, I'm done cutting your hair. You're all set to go. You're all set. Um, maybe at the store, if uh, you're paying um, and your credit card doesn't go through, and then they say, swipe it again, please, and then you swipe your credit card again, and then you sign, and then the cashier might say, you're all set. It's, uh, it just means, you know, you're good. You can go. Um, Renee, where, uh, give us another example of a time you can say, you could say, you're all set. Mm. When you um, go to the doctor no. and he review you and he say, you are all set, you can go uh, with your walk into your house and <laughs> something like that. Great, great. That's wonderful. Good example. And uh, Italo, what's another example of a time where you might say, you're all set? 
uh, when you go with uh, your car uh, for the mechanic and the revision mechanical revision is, is good and the mechanic uh, say you you are all set for the for the go to the trip uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. great great yes okay um all right so um i'm gonna have renee read this part about set off go off frazzle verbs set off and go off when the alarm sounds we say the alarm went off to describe what caused the alarm to sound we say set off for example my keys set off the alarm or my keys set off the metal detector great thank you okay so um, Renee tell me about a time where something in your luggage set off the alarm Mm, something in what? <laughs> okay, so what does set off mean? Set off it when you have um, to you make something to start uh, the sound of alar yeah. alarm. Good, good, good. So I can say, for example, like um, I forgot to remove my liquids from my carry on, and so my carry on set off the metal detector or I was wearing really big metal earrings and it set off the metal detector oh wait so I guess if uh, it was if there was liquids in my carry-on I think that would set off the x-ray machine and if I was wearing earrings it would set off the metal detector yeah so uh, tell us about a time where something in your luggage set off the alarm um, it was, uh, I, w I was arriving to Mexico City, I, I came from Panama, uh -huh. and they stopped my luggage because they, they want to review, and it's supposed the door set off the alarm. <laughs> oh, what, what set off the alarm? Um, the, the dog start to... Barking. Oh, the dog. <laughs> yeah, the dog. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> the dog set off the alarm. <laughs> oh, okay. You understand me? Because he, the dog started to barking. <laughs> the dog set off the alarm. Good. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good. And they have to review everything, and they, they break my bags, and I don't know why, but the, the dog... Uh, was barking and um, crashed my bags because maybe the uh, wolf that was inside the bag, uh -huh. I don't know what kind of smell the, that has it. Oh. And they have to take off the wood. You you know what the wood that are in the later, lateral of the bag to support? Uh -huh. Oh, the lining, like the like the part of the bag that like supports the bag, makes yeah. it. Yeah, they have to take out. They have to open the bag uh -huh. first, and they have to take out that kind of wood. Uh -huh. So then the dog uh, stopped barking. Oh wow! So there was like a a drug sniffing dog that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have drugs, but I don't know what those, the dog thought. <laughs> Maybe the dog was having an off day and it smelled a hot dog or something. Well, it's not yeah, like yeah I never understand that. <laughs> At least they said it was fine, right? They didn't find anything. It was just a, a fluke, we call that. It was an exception. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, thank you. And Italo, please tell us about a time where your baggage set off the alarm. Uh, when I when I was in the in the conflict sonic bellic in uh -huh. in my country, uh -huh. uh, anything. Uh, was were suspicious of 
of uh, of, um, oh. of belly uh, guns. Uh huh. Uh, guys were uh, uh, minutiously, minutiously uh, inspection. Uh huh. Wow. And um, so it had. Uh, Okay, and it sounded like it did. It go okay. Everything was okay. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> great. Great. All right. Um. Okay. Um. Italo, please read this statement here. The highlighted statement. Sorry, this is in the way. Okay. There has been a great change. Good. So, what does that, well, okay, uh, keep reading, keep reading. Here's the definition. This means the fly will leave from a different gate. Good, good. Now, what are some reasons for a gate change? When the, the gate uh, uh, were in other, in other terminal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Good. Good, yeah. When, when, the, when the plane is at another gate, yeah. Uh and it has there have you ever had that happen? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. But and the 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 announce the screen announcement announcement don't 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 uh, look the the change and the and my friends and and I uh, was uh, nearly to the lose the 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 flight. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Um, and finally, Renee. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so please read this next one here. Okay, United Airlines flight 880 to Miami is now boarding. This, mean, this means it's time for passengers to enter the plane. Good. Okay, so when your flight is now boarding, what does that mean you need to do? Maybe, yeah. go on, sorry, go on. No, you. <laughs> um, maybe, uh, <laughs> You're at maybe you're still at security, and you hear the announcement that your flight is boarding. Okay, I have to run. <laughs> yeah, really fast. <laughs> it means hopefully it means pray that security <laughs> goes quickly and run. Yeah, <laughs> I, have, I have to run, and <laughs> then I have to make um, to wait. Um, near to the uh, gate uh -huh. and then I have to make, I don't know how to say to make fila, I don't know that word. Um, make fila, oh I don't know, uh, I don't know. Wait, I have a translate. Oh yeah, go for it, go for it. I have to ro make a roll, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. And then I have to show my the travel pass. Yes, exactly. You, you hurry down to the gate and make sure you have your boarding pass or your travel pass. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully you you get on the plane in one piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody. So that's the end of class today. Thank you very much for talking uh, about flying. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you, Noriel, for everything. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.